Hi Ultimate Gardeners, welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening channel. My name is Emmanuel Arce, well known to be the Ultimate Gardener. Come join me in becoming an Ultimate Gardener day by day. So an hour ago, I just received this box from Garden Crossings. I know it says Proven Winners number one plant brand. Because I purchased a plant that is branded Proven Winners, no, this is not an affiliated or a sponsorship, not even a partnership. This is a plant I purchased and I really want it for my own garden. I'm just making this video because I absolutely love this plant and I wanna showcase it to you guys. So I'm gonna unbox it. We're gonna talk about what you should do when you receive a plant in the mail, and we're gonna talk about some few details on the plant I received. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. Coming at number one is you have to remove your plant from your box automatically. It, you can't even wait two days because in here, if you leave it in a more heated area, it will start accumulating heat and it will end up killing your plant that's in there also because the plant has not been watered for a few days during transit so number one is to remove your plant right away next once you receive your plants here i have mine i know it was a very big box for one small little tiny eeny weeny plant but hey that's what we're gonna go with you're gonna remove all the protective layers around it usually it would either have something like this or it will come in some plastic around the top. So just remove all materials from your plant. So here it is, you guys, the plant I purchased from GardenCrossings.com. Well, the plant details or the plant information is gonna be left towards the end of the video. So if you wanna know the fun facts behind this beautiful plant, please stay till the end. But once you take it out of all of its protective material and the box, etc., give it a good drink of water. All plants need a good drink of water. If you don't know where you're gonna put them yet, Give them a good drink of water when you receive them in the mail because they have not received any type of water throughout their shipping days. So you want to give them some water right away if you don't know where you're gonna plant them. If you know where you're gonna plant them, plant them right away. If you can, plant them once you received it and give them a good drink of water so they can start establishing to their new home. So now let's talk about this beautiful plant. So here's the plant, you guys. This is part of their summer and thick hardy hibiscus line. As you guys know, I'm a huge sucker for hardy hibiscus. I would do anything possible to receive every single last one of these. And eventually I do want to dedicate a garden just with pure hardy hibiscus because I love them so much. This is the Summerific Lilac Crush Hardy Hibiscus. Here's the tag. Of course, there's going to be a photo and the title name up on the screen for you guys to check out. I absolutely love this color. I haven't seen a color like this before. So let's jump right straight into the facts if you're interested in purchase, purchasing this plant. Number one, they get 60 to 66 inches tall. This is a tall plant. They get pretty tall if they are hardy to your zone. So I'm hoping that this gets tall because I have the Holy Grail, but like I grew that from bare root this year. It stayed pretty small, but hopefully year by year, they get bigger and bigger. So I don't know how big this plant's gonna get just yet. Their spacing, if you want to plant multiple of these plants in the same area, their spacing is 48 inches to, to 54 inches at maximum. So these get pretty big. Their zones four through nine. I know I'm a zone 10, I'm kind of pushing it, but tropical hibiscus is hardy down here. And so like I have multiple hardy hibiscus in my garden. I sort of am able to grow hardy hibiscus due to our climate. And it doesn't really matter that we need a winter because they still die back and come back gorgeously year after year. They bloom midsummer to early fall. Once they start blooming, they don't stop. They continue and continue and continue and they won't stop. So that's the good thing about this plant. I love it. They like full to part sun. So I recommend putting them in full sun because full sun allows them to get more blooms, bigger blooms, pigmented blooms, and a bigger plant. You could put them in part sun, but I recommend full sun if you can. 
These are lavender blue flowers that are seven to eight inches across. And that's huge. I can't wait to plant this hardy hibiscus in the ground. I absolutely am a fan of this particular hardy hibiscus and I will be making a video planting this, but once again, this is not a partnership, neither I am in some what way getting paid for this video. I just really wanted to showcase to you guys this beautiful plant that I got from GardenCrossings.com. So thank you all so much for watching this video. May God bless you and your family. And never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners. Bye guys.